you will look back on this day and say, saying God's word has made me rich. The Holy Ghost is God Holy in the earth Ghost today, the earth and you walk today. with him by saying words. The My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. Jesus if this is your first time here, here, make sure you subscribe. Holy if this Ghost isn't your God first time here and these messages today. are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. What I'm going to say tonight requires that the scriptures be true well here we see in Genesis chapter 1 in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters so here we see that God did something created the earth and the first definition or indication of who this God is he says the Spirit of God or literally the Spirit God say the Spirit God so here we have God the Spirit God moved upon the face of the waters and God said say and God said so we have he's God he's the Spirit God and he says things say he's a Spirit God and he says things right scriptures and then he goes on to say a whole bunch of things let there be light and, and there was light so here now he's he's a spirit being he's a spirit God a spirit being who is God and he says things and those things come to pass that's what we know about God right here from the very beginning and then of course you go on and on through the rest of the Bible and there's more revelation about who he is but he's still God the Spirit who says things he never veers from that nor does this earth that you are in that he created by speaking words does that change you're still in an earth made out of words that God spoke in fact you are made out of words God spoke let's look on here Genesis 1 26 and God said let us make man in our image say us in our verse 27 so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them now I could say a lot of things on that but I'm not going to that's a whole nother message but God created man in his own image so what do we know about God he's a spirit being and he says things and those things come to pass that's really all we know about God at that point right but so he created man a spirit being the literal interpretation of that is a speaking spirit God made man a speaking spirit we can see that God was a speaking spirit and he made man in his own image a speaking spirit say a speaking spirit the number one God-given ability to every man is the ability to speak words not just to parrot some things like a parrot but the ability to understand them and to speak those words and to believe those words choosing to speak God's words is what makes you a believer say choosing to speak his words is what makes me a believer fast forward to the New Testament and Jesus Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 this is Jesus it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God so you say well how are we going to live then here we are we're men we're women we're in this earth how are we going to live man shall live by every word 
that proceeds out of the mouth of God what does proceed out of the mouth mean he spoke them so we are to live by the spoken word of God say I am to live by the spoken word of God his word is life to me and I have found it what word have I found I've found that I live by the spoken word of God can you hear that say I live by the spoken word of God well if it's the spoken word of God it has to be spoken and you have to find it you have to find this out so many people have now found this out Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20 my son attend to my words right attend to them pay attention incline thine ear unto my sayings you can't incline your ear to a word of God unless it is said if you're gonna incline your ear have your ear attend to the Word of God it has to be a spoken Word of God say a spoken Word of God for verse 22 for they are life what are life the spoken Word of God they are life the spoken words of God they are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh Jesus said we would live by every spoken word of God here it says they the spoken words of God are life to us that find them you can't find them unless you speak them you can't find them unless you speak them I hope you heard that and this is something that you find can you see that I'm not making this up it's something you find you find out that by speaking the Word of God there's life in there for you it's something you find or you don't find and what I found is that most people don't find this because they don't speak his words man shall live by that the spoken or said word of God it's life to me this has become my religion speaking the Word of God it's life to me eternal or otherwise physically financially life to me what has become life to you the spoken Word of God are you here religion is what you believe can you understand that religion is what you believe and what you do but predominantly what you believe right that's your belief that's your religion we believe and speak say I believe and speak Psalms 116 and verse 9 I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living where's the land of the living that's here if you're alive and you're on the earth welcome to the land of the living I will walk before the Lord who's the Lord you know this Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him where in the earth I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living verse 10 I believed did you believe that have you believed what I just said that you will walk before the Lord or with the Lord in the land of the living the Lord God Holy Ghost I believed therefore have I spoken we believe and speak we speak and believe it's how you walk with God why would that be because everything in the land of the living was what spoken by a spirit who says things that's the Lord are you here you think you're gonna walk with him any other way that's goofy that's unscriptural so we believe and speak I will walk with the Lord in the land of the living I believed therefore have I spoken you can't just do the first part I will walk with the Lord in the land of the living 
it doesn't happen without believing and speaking and speaking and believing here's Paul saying the same thing second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed and therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak I find it interesting he says we having the same spirit of faith who would be the spirit of faith I mean we have a spirit of faith but he is the spirit of faith the literal spirit of faith and he believes and speaks he speaks and believes that's how he do that's how we do so we walk with him I hope I'm driving this home we walk with him the literal spirit of faith who is a person by believing and speaking Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says can two walk together except they be agreed or say the same thing no so if we're gonna walk with the Lord God Holy Ghost in the land of the living it will be by saying the same things if you can get this it will take you years beyond where most of the church is or where you could be any other way welcome I believe in saying God's Word say I believe in saying God's Word this has become my religion can you see now why I would say that I'm going to keep saying this because I don't think people have gotten it yet and I can tell by the way you talk I believe and speak this is how you walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth the actual spirit of faith you haven't done this speak the Word of God until it transforms you or even better converts you speak his word until it converts you into the thing said which will be what his spoken word then you would become that in the earth just like he spoke in the beginning well how long do I have to say his word as long as it takes say as long as it takes let it the saying of God's word convert you you haven't said it enough you see my religion exists right here in the said Word of God the things I've said it is life to me does that make sense I say it and then I move into it and it becomes life to me and I found it and so many others have not yet you will look back on this day and say saying God's Word has made me rich Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord or in the word of the Lord and in his word does he meditate day and night say meditate now that doesn't mean oh um, I meditate no meditate literally means to mutter you say it you mutter it to yourself well how long Oh, day and night seems like all the time say all the time say all the time say all the time I'm muttering muttering needs to speak you don't mutter silently no you have to say it you can say it quietly you can say it under your breath that generally what muttering is is you say something under your breath living God gives me richly all things to enjoy oh living God gives me richly all things to enjoy you say it you mutter it day and night well let's see what happens verse 3 he shall be like a tree planted by rivers the rivers of water 
that brings forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper shall prosper what is the thing that makes whatsoever you do prosper is the muttering of God's word out your mouth Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law or this word of God shall not depart out of your mouth if it doesn't depart out of your mouth it means it's still in your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night saying the same thing meditate means to mutter to speak it day and night to speak it day and night to speak it to think it no to speak it day and night look what happens that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein literally to observe to do means to see how you'll be able to see yourself doing all that's written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success good success not just just success good success if you meditating in the word or muttering the word causes you to prosper and have good success there must be prosperity in the spoken word of God that's where it is that's why God the Spirit God that speaks things and has them comes come to pass wants you who's made in his image a spirit being to speak his words which will cause you to prosper and have good success this shouldn't be that difficult every word of God has within it the ability to bring itself to pass it will bring itself to pass in the life of the person who chooses to say it out his mouth it will become life to those who find it Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what does that mean again the spoken word so shall the spoken word be say it so shall the spoken word be it shall not return to me void but it the spoken word shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it again prospering the spoken word will prosper in the thing whereunto he sent it he sent it by saying it I believe in saying God's word so shall my word be my word shall not return void but prosper my spoken word shall prosper I believe it and I say it I say it and I believe it the spoken word prospers me say it the spoken word prospers me I believe in saying God's word it has become my religion the most precious thing that I own is the ability to speak in agreement with God's Word it's the first thing he gave to man and it's the most precious possession and most valuable possession we have say the most precious thing I own is the ability to speak in agreement with God's Word and it becomes the most valuable thing that I own those words that I have already spoken the most expensive and valuable thing that I own is God's Word in my mouth thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people revealing that specific revelation to them that they may know you and walk with you as God in the earth today haha -ha.
fulfilling all things that you have already spoken into the earth it is a great day to be alive we worship you and honor you in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are the living God, God I walk with you in the earth I speak wealth and ability and prosperity over my finances and over my entire life I thank you Holy Ghost that I am blessed in Jesus name Amen. the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God